Leo Malamud revolutionized the financial industry in every major market on the globe while serving as chairman of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the world's largest futures market. His path to Illinois began in Poland, where as a young boy, he fled with his family from Nazi persecution at the dawn of World War II. The family's two-year and three-continent escape ended fortuitously in Chicago, where they built a life for themselves. Much like the man in whose name we gather here tonight, Mr. Malamed came from little means, but crafted an extraordinary career with a basis in legal education. After starting in the trading pits of the CME, he rose to the top, becoming chairman in 1969. Mr. Malamed's visionary leadership led to the creation of the first futures market for financial instruments and the launch of currency futures, thus expanding futures contracts beyond a narrow focus on agriculture and into the global economy. Today's markets would be unrecognizable if not for his influence. Under his direction, the CME introduced treasury bills, euro dollars, stock index futures, and Globex, the world's first futures electronic trading system. His revolutionary ideas modernized futures in commodities and made Chicago the internationally recognized hub of futures trading. Mr. Malamed's refusal to be constrained by the status quo transformed an entire industry. He shares Mr. Lincoln's fortitude, his discernment, and his intellect. With Illinois as his bedrock, Mr. Malamed has been one of the great innovators of the 20th century. To receive the Order of Lincoln from Chicago, Illinois, Mr. Leo Malamed. Thank you very much. I am, of course, enormously proud to receive this award, especially in view of the people who are also receiving it. But I must say to this audience that the real entity that should receive this award is this nation. This nation, and inclusive of the land of Lincoln. Because I came here as a child survivor from the Holocaust. I was probably one of the youngest survivors to get here by virtue of the bravery, courage, and intelligence of my parents, who knew from the very start to run. And we ran. It took over two years to get to this country and these shores. And when I got here, I got here without family besides my parents, without friends, without any substance of any sort. And yet, this nation gave me the opportunity to rise from that beginning to lead this nation, as well as the world, into finance in a way that hardly anyone imagined except for my mentor, Milton Friedman. Yes, I became perhaps the epitome of what free markets are all about. Those free markets brought down the Berlin Wall freed 70 million people from a tyranny of communism, brought apart apartheid, and yes, gave the world the ability to rise 
from the ashes of World War II and free so many people around the world, all as a result of free markets to which our governor is devoted. And this nation gave me, therefore, the opportunity to use whatever talents I possess and lead the institution that was a butter and egg board, hardly any reputation, hardly any strength to become the world's leader in finance around the world, to introduce the ability of futures markets to serve the economies of all nations. And as a result, gave the state of Illinois that distinction, plus an enormous amount of jobs and enterprises that it could not have otherwise had. So in truth, this award belongs to this nation to give me that opportunity to bring me to this level and to be able to receive this honored award. Thank you all.